everyone and welcome to a real world review of the Sony FE 90mm G OSS macro lens. So I'm out here in the woods today and the weather is really nice, we have some sun and let's see if we can find some interesting macro shots and let's see what this lens is able to deliver. I'm using the Sony a7R2 with 42 megapixels so this will be really interesting about the results we can get here. And for the filming I will use the Sony RX100 Mark III, so this is currently filming. And yeah, let's see what we can get and how the image quality will be like. The lens offers a very solid build quality and you have the AF-MF switcher here which is really nice so you can put it forward and this was means it's in auto focus mode and when you pull it backwards it's manual focus and now you can turn it and choose um, the distance and this is really smoothly and it works really nice and I really like the mechanism of pulling it forward and backward and this is really straightforward. On the side of the lens you have a switch where you can either choose to have full uh, focus mode or you can switch it to just um, yeah normal focus which means uh, a 0 0.5 meters to infinity or you have a macro only mode and this is really nice if you know what you want to shoot the focus will be a little bit faster and then you of course have the steady shot as well you can turn it on and off here at the bottom and there is a focus hold button here at the front which is really nice and this means while you are holding this button the camera will not focus which is nice if you already have locked the focus and you don't want to uh, move the position anymore. This lens is definitely not something if you're going to shoot on a budget but um, if you're going to put in this investment which is around 1000 euros here in Germany at least uh, you will get excellent image quality and we will look into this now. easy to say that this is the sharpest lens I ever used so far. Even wide open it delivers excellent results even on the 42 megapixel body of the a7R2 so you can also use it on a crop sensor camera without uh, getting any detail loss. Uh, the autofocus system is not that impressive so um, when I'm shooting fast moving subjects like my dog it's struggling to keep up I mean well at f2.8 the deep of field is not that large so the focus have to lock on perfectly that's not always the case however if you're shooting static subjects uh, the autofocus looks pretty nice um, and also in macro mode the autofocus works pretty well. Well if you're shooting a high megapixel body like the a7R2 or a high megapixel body uh, APS-C like the a6000 series this is probably a lens you're gonna want to have. Uh, looking at the price tag of course it's hard to recommend this to everyone. Uh, however I really like shooting macro and so this is a no-brainer for everyone who shoots macro. Uh, if you invest this money you get a perfect lens and like I said before it's the sharpest lens uh, I have used so far even compared to the 100mm uh, L lens from Canon the macro lens which is also an impressive lens and I've adapted this to the a7R2 but when I'm comparing it to the quality of the Sony lens the Sony lens just blows away everything even wide open it's perfectly sharp and even the corners look really nice and the bokeh looks just great so yeah I can really recommend this lens of course you have to invest some money but uh, when you want to have good class uh, you have to do that. Um, I hope you enjoyed this review and some of the images and if you got questions feel free to put it in the comments down below 
And yeah, uh, hope to see you soon in some of the next reviews. Bye.